Well, as a young person and as a young farmer, I feel that this is an opportunity for us for change. For the last, all of my life, the majority of my father's life, we've been part of the year. No farmer can honestly say at the minute, they're happy with the way things are, and they're happy with the way the future looks. Well, this is an opportunity for us to make a stance, for us to leave, and it might be a once in a lifetime opportunity for change, and I feel that we have to look at it as a leap into the light, not a leap into the dark. We have to be brave. It's detrimental to productive farmers the way that the cap is, is basically run and the amount of red tape that we have actually got to put up with, rules and regulations to actually get that money uh, is getting worse and worse all the time for less and less from uh, the Europe. By leaving the EU, us as farmers would be able to negotiate FTAs with other continents, other countries that are more suitable to ourselves. Uh, they've decided to pay farmers on a hectare basis and pay the farmers the same amount whether they are farming productive land or whether they are farming land in uh, less productive land say on the top of Snowdonia or Bregan Beacons uh, ground that isn't really producing anything. The camp affects me as a young farmer in the way that I feel is actually restricting myself and other people my age group back by rewarding farmers who don't actually do much with their land, we're still getting paid, still getting subsidised, doing less work, producing less food. And it's enough of a problem to get everything to coordinate within the UK without having about 30, nearly 30 nations where you've got olive groves, you've got vineyards uh, and everything else then that you've got within the rest of the countries of the EU supposedly to uh, have one common agricultural policy. It just can't work. It's not practical.